Okay. All it quiet, please. Thank you. Action. Well, Daryl and Ron, here we are in New York to talk about this movie that's opening very soon, Splash. And I, I must say that when I first heard about it, and that was quite some time ago, a story about a young man who falls in love with a mermaid, I, you know, I didn't know. I thought, that could be, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. But Ron, I have to say, having seen the movie, I just, I have a lot of respect for you as a director anyway. We've been through, yes. uh, remember when you came for Betty Davis and right. Skyward right. and uh, Night Shift. We talked on Night Shift, Yes, sure. uh, so I have a lot of respect for you as a director, but uh, it went up quite a little bit more even with, well, thank uh, you. with this, this funny picture, very funny picture. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. You know, it, it, well, I was a little bit skeptical when I, when I went into it, to tell you the truth, when I first heard the idea. A thing like that could be a little on the corny side and, you know, too cute and, and uh, so to counteract that we made it as funny as we could possibly make it and uh, we also pushed it uh, a little bit more toward, toward romance and, and, uh, uh, and not a syrupy romance but a kind of a sincere, sincere sensual even, you know, uh, and uh, with a happy ending. <laughs> yes. Daryl, uh, you of course, I think, had such a fantastic challenge, not only uh, playing a fantasy figure, a mermaid, uh, and making us believe in the reality of this woman, but you had to play so many of your scenes underwater in this fish costume. <laughs> now, first of all, let's talk about the costume. What all was involved there? Well, um, the tail was made of latex and plexiglass, and um, it took about five hours to apply when we were first putting it on in the film, and it was glued on to me, and you know I had to you know, struggle into it, and then they they pushed it together and glued it on, and then had pieces to glue on, and I think by the end of the film we got it down to two and a half hours for application, and they had to blend the scales and the skin and all that stuff. And, um, and then getting out of it, what was that? Getting like? out of it was a, an hour. They just, you know, they just took a knife and cut me out, and then had to like take the glue off of my skin and stuff so that I could. Gosh, I didn't realize all that was going on. I thought you went into a room, concentrated, and grew a tail. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Mind uh -huh. over. <laughs> was it the same tail, or did they have several? We had five different tails because uh, the coral and stuff would, you know, tend to break or fluke or, you know. Was it heavy? It's thirty-five pounds. And then in the water, of course, you had to swim with that. Well, you know, in the in the water, uh, if you don't, if you're just scuba diving and you don't have weights on, you'll float up to the top. So you have to wear weights, and I didn't have to because the tail weighed enough to keep me down. Um, uh, in the water, it was the it was the best place to be in that tail because I could move and and. Uh, I mean, that's what it was designed for. I mean, when I was on the shore, I couldn't even turn over by myself, and it was, it was, the pressure was intensified on land and stuff, and it was, you know, it was real painful when we were on the dock. What, <laughs> what would be the longest, uh, or the, uh, the most number of hours that you would be in that costume? Uh, I don't know, seven hours, or? Well, yeah, nine, nine hours, and counting the, you know, the, the uh, whole the application. application. Nine or ten hours. Yes. Was there ever at any time, Daryl, that you were frightened in the water, afraid maybe of other creatures that would come around? Oh, no, not well, at all. Well, that storm, that storm. Oh, yeah, well, there was one, there was one time when um, a diver, you know, came down to me with an you know, urgent look on his face and, and pushed me down to the bottom and kind of sign language, you know, that I should stay down on the bottom and don't come up. And I didn't know why and I didn't know what was going on. And I saw Ron like swimming to the top really fast and like all every, you know, but I didn't realize that he had run out of air and there, there was a storm coming. So I thought there was a huge shark coming or something, <laughs> you know. And I, I actually wasn't scared. I was sort of thrilled, like now something's going to happen, you know. <laughs> But there were barracudas around that were like three, four feet long sometimes, and it wasn't very scary because uh, they they don't attack. You know? Stingrays, we saw some stingrays. Yeah. Ron, what about you now? Uh, uh, have you always been a big avid swimmer and diver? No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. no. I'm okay in a swimming pool, and uh, you know, and I'm and I'm okay in the ocean as long as as long as I can stand up, and it's only waist deep. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I, I grew up in <laughs> and I'm in pants. <laughs> All right, so I sunburned. <laughs> uh, but 
No, I, growing up in Southern California, everybody goes surfing, you know, and I was never too interested in that because you'd have to go out beyond the breakers, and then you're over your head in the water, and it's just swimming in the ocean didn't appeal to me. You couldn't see anything, and it was it was frightening. So, um, but I wanted to do it for this film. I got some very good training, and uh, and I was confident by the time we were doing it, and uh, uh, and I enjoyed myself, and I'm not frightened anymore. So it was good for me. I wonder, uh, Ron, uh, this kind of a shoot uh, has, uh, you know, many chances for accidents and things to happen. Uh, and I'm wondering now, since the Twilight Zone tragedy, if you directors are more aware and if that, you know, penetrates your consciousness more. Well, it's unfortunate that it takes a tragedy to do that. But uh, um, the, the Twilight Zone incident has provided um, more security uh, on sets and, and and what it really is it's not so much that everyone was always ruthless uh, and, and, and uncaring but uh, it's, a, it's a real reminder uh, that every precaution must be taken at all times and I, I don't like doing stunt sequences uh, my philosophy about it is I try to talk the stuntmen out of doing the stunt mm -hmm. then if they'll try to talk me into doing it I figure okay now it's their responsibility they feel that they can actually do it and we'll, we'll photograph it as best we can and, and put it into the movie. Don't you think that there has to be, of course, uh, uh, directors are competing against one another, and if somebody does something terrific, you want to do something that's even more terrific. Do you think that maybe that's been part of it, that maybe we've just gone a little too fast uh, in that direction? You know, I, I don't know. Some of it is, frankly, the stuntmen, too. Uh, it can't all be pinned on, on the directors. Uh, Stuntmen are also competitive and sometimes try to do something. I lost a very good friend of mine uh, who was a stunt coordinator simply because, uh, and I had, I had uh, he was the coordinator on my first film, Grand Theft Auto, and he was great and conscientious about everyone else but not conscientious about himself. And uh, he did a stunt that was very difficult. People tried to warn him to, to tone it down and do it a little bit differently, and uh, uh, he killed himself. So it's, it's, it's a part of that job, and, and you can never forget just how dangerous it can be. What kind of stunt was it? It was a stunt where he jumped a car uh, off a ramp and into some water, and the car wound up, he wouldn't take an air tank with him, and he wound up flipping, and the car got stuck in the, in the water and the mud, and he was pinned in, and, uh, and he drowned. And there was just no excuse for that. And, uh, he, he never should have happened. Well, you, you had no problems with this picture, did you? I, I've had no problems yet, fortunately, and let me find some wood. Yes. <laughs> well, I think good luck is, is shining and smiling on you because I just feel for all of you that Splash is going to be a big hit. Well, thank you. We sure had a good time doing it. And the one laughing the loudest was herself. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> thank you, Daryl. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Ron. Good to see you again. Nice to see you. Okay. Bobby, nice. would you just look over there for a minute? Move into yeah. No, no. Let me go. Okay. Just about like that. Just the Sonatian ones. We've got all the questions yeah. over there. Yeah, okay. Oh, th this one, I'm sorry. No, that's better. Go. Oh. That should do it. We've got 90% okay. of it big quarter and it's no problem. Yeah, okay. All right. We've got a pitch. Well, nice seeing you again. Good to see you.